Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. This is Mr. P and in this video I'd like to show you a very small and light USB-C hub by a company called QG. I had it upside down. When I opened the box or packaging and I found it inside the package in this box and it was basically very light, I thought, oh great, they probably sent me empty box with nothing in it. But when I opened up, that's what I found, this USB-C hub, and I realized why everything was so light because actual USB-C hub is very light and very small. It has very premium build. I like the accents of the black color at the back and at the front. The cable feels premium. It won't gonna snap after a year or two of use. I would say length is about 12 centimeters. We have a power delivery via USB type C. We have three, uh, 3.0 USB type A port. We have 2.0 USB type A port. And at the back we have full size HDMI. So there is no headphone jack. There is no internet connection, LAN, LAN connection jack and there is no um, SD card or micro SD card reader. And oh, by the way, another thing, there's a small pinhole here, which lits up in a white color when you're supplying the power delivery. And you need to supply a power delivery to this USB-C hub because without the power, your Galaxy device will output on the screen mirroring mode and you won't get DEX. But if you wanna get DEX working with this USB-C hub and your Galaxy device, you will need to supply the power. Speaking about the power, this USB-C hub supports up to 100 watts. According to the seller's page on Amazon, it will support up to 100 watts of power. Nine watts of power will be sent only to this device, will be used with by this device, and rest of the 90, 91 watts of power is going to be sent directly to your device. And while I was testing this out with my Note 9, my Note 9 and my Galaxy Tab S6 actually, and was fast charging. So the claim on the power is definitely right. One thing was a bit worrying for me when I opened up and checked the manual, they're mentioning the resolutions inside the manual. So they're not mentioning anything about, about the ultra wide monitor resolution. So I was a bit worried that I won't be able to use my Samsung DeX with this device on my ultra wide monitor at the maximum resolution. Before I'm showing you what kind of resolutions I'm getting out of this hub, I would like to mention about the temperatures. I had this opened or started using this for about two days now. Uh, oh, two days ago, and I basically connected my Note 9 to this USB-C hub, then supplied the power and used the HDMI output, connect this to my next dock too, just to see what kind of temperatures this USB-C hub will go up to. And in idle, I was getting about 35 degrees, and at the maximum load, I'm basically is copying and uploading files via USB ports, um, was streaming games, watching YouTube, Netflix, all sorts. Basically, that's just normal thing, what I usually do with my decks. And the temperature was reaching at 37. And, usually, and like I said, usual place is basically gonna be around power delivery port. And this 37 degrees wasn't really bad. It was warm. It was not crazy warm where you would think like, oh my God, I need to disconnect. But it was warm and might be the reason why it was reaching 37 degrees because it's very, very hot lately here in Cardiff in, in UK. And obviously ambient temperature here in the in office is much higher than usual is. So that's probably was adding up a couple extra degrees on the actual temperature. Mm -hmm. Working temperature of this device will be about 35, 34, 35 Celsius. Before I connect everything up, one other thing I'd like to mention is the app limit. When I check, when I opened the box and I realized how small this USB-C hub is, I thought, right, this is never gonna go up to over five app limits. But to my surprise, this small USB-C hub was able to output 20 apps in a windowed mode on a Samsung DeX. So if you're using a lot of apps on your Samsung DeX and you want to go above five app limit, I would say this USB-C hub is one of the hubs you need to consider in buying it. Now let's connect everything up. So I already have the HDMI cable ready, connected to my ultra wide monitor, and I have a power delivery connected. This USB-C USB cable connected to a power brick or to wall plug, the same one that I just arrived with my next dock too, which I think supplies 60 watts of power. Using that kind of setup, I was able to basically fast charge my Note 9 and Galaxy Tab S6. So right now, let's connect everything up. One has connected the power. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but the small LED light lights up in white color, indicating that I do have a power coming in. Let's connect the HDMI. And first, let's get my USB-C power meter. Let's connect that up. Let's connect into my Note 9. And let's have a look what we have. So the power is, my phone is charging. The meter telling me that it's supplying 8.8 .8 volts at 0.64 amps of power. That's what I'm getting. So let me quickly turn my Bluetooth key mouse on and let's go into settings. 
if we're going to setting some syntax and okay it's it's crashed oh no it might just monitor playing up and i'm getting 3440 by 1440 resolution that's great so if i go back twice and i'll go into device care and i click on the battery it says 65 percent available 66 minutes remaining until full charge and by note 9 is currently fast charging next thing let's grab my tower stab s6 and do the same thing it's all connected let's change the bluetooth port on my mouse loading here we go so that's loaded if i go to samsung settings samsung dex and here we go 3440 by 1440p and the battery if i'll go to uh, device care and i click on a battery i'm getting a fast charge is connected as well so and the power is supplying 8.86 volts at 0.64 amps i think it's, it's the same as it was on the note 9 so the USB C hub is small, light, so passes through a lot of power to Galaxy device to get fast charging. I'm getting a full output in the resolution. I'm planning to put underneath the desk where I had the current one, the Ugreen connected, or maybe I'm gonna take this one and plug it in here, somehow mount it here using cable ties and HDMI cable we're gonna go directly from the USB C hub direct into a monitor and then all the cables will go down the monitor mount. So that's it, that's the like QGIM USB C hub for your Samsung DeX. It has 1440p resolution output only if you have a power delivery connected. It doesn't have any headphone jack, micro SD card, or SD card readers, there is no Ethernet connection, but pretty much it has everything what I need. It basically has a HDMI output supports maximum resolution, supports maximum power supply, I would say, so my Galaxy device is getting fast charged, and I have at least one, or obviously in this case I have two, but I was looking at least one USB Type-A port to connect my 10 port USB hub. So this USB-C hub is a fantastic one to go. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.